Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today, I warn you to watch out for adware. If you hadn't heard the term adware before, it's used to describe a type of malware or really grayware that forces your computer to links that generate advertising revenue for the author. Now typically this adware silently forces your computer to visit these links. It's not directly malicious. It doesn't actually try to give the attacker control of your computer, at least overtly, but it is actually taking over your computer to visit things that you're not technically visiting. So some people do consider it malicious. Security companies sometimes also classify this grayware as a potentially unwanted application or program. In any case, over the past few weeks, Checkpoint researchers have released details about two big adware campaigns that infect both PC users and Android mobile device users. The first is something called Fireball. This apparently is a adware campaign uh, targeting Windows PC users. According to Checkpoint, a uh, Fireball adware has infected over 250 million computers around the world. Now most of those infections affect users in India, China, Brazil, with only 2% being in the United States. Nonetheless, 250 million is quite a lot of computers. Now this particular adware, which uh, Checkpoint has associated with a Chinese uh, marketing company, seems to come bundled with free software. It comes with a couple particular packages from this company, as well as bundled with a number of other free programs. If you get Fireball on your computer, it forces the machine to visit Google Ad affiliate links and Yahoo affiliate links as well in the background. Now, by the way, this adware, though it doesn't seem to be directly malicious, it does have a command and control channel back to the organization that created it. Theoretically, they could actually use Fireball to run anything on your computer, so there's really nothing holding it back from becoming a typical remote access Trojan as well. So while today it seems to be mostly used to generate this false advertising revenue, it is still a dangerous program to have on your computer. On top of that, Checkpoint also talked about a new campaign affecting Android devices, which they call Lucy. At a high level, Lucy is very similar adware, except that it affects Android devices and seems to come from a Korean organization. Basically, Checkpoint found around 41 different applications that were officially in Google Play's marketplace, which while they were normal applications that really did work, they also uh, installed this adware uh, component, which would of course force your Android device to uh, visit ad revenue generating links as well. Now the good news about Lucy is now that Google has been informed of it, they've actually removed these 41 offending applications from Google Play. So uh, current users that only get their software from Google Play don't have to worry about getting Lucy in the future. However, apparently these applications were sitting on Google Play for many years. So it kind of shows you that Google Play isn't perfect at keeping malicious applications off their marketplace. Meanwhile, Android devices also allow you to sideload applications, so there's still a chance you might run into some application that bundles itself with this malicious adware. In any case, I bring up these two stories to warn you about the current increased prevalence of adware lately. While adware doesn't seem directly malicious, it really is something you don't want on your computer. As I mentioned, even though the adware is typically designed to generate ad revenue for these uh, attackers, it can actually still be a mechanism that's used to deliver other software to your computer. So pretty much it is a Trojan horse that could go bad one day. So how do you protect yourself from adware? Well, that can be a little bit more complicated because in many cases, this adware kind of falls on that gray line of what we call grayware. The good news is a lot of antivirus and anti-malware companies do consider this adware malicious. So they will find it and get it off your computer. In fact, WatchGuard's Firebox Gateway antivirus, our APT blocker, and even our threat detection response service can all find these potentially unwanted applications and block them from reaching your network. That said, some adware, which is, is somewhat legitimately bundled with free software, is harder to detect in some cases. So really the moral of the story is to realize that nothing on the internet is free. As you're downloading various free software installers, realize they're often packaged or bundled with these sorts of components as well. In any case, it's just interesting to see the increased prevalence of adware campaigns lately. Be on the lookout for these campaigns and try to avoid them. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.